Throughout the centuries, there were many different executions performed across different countries. Women in history often found themselves at the executioner's scaffold, being wrongly accused of crimes such as witchcraft. Men would at times accuse difficult women of a variety of different offences, and they were often subjected to punishment and humiliation, and the most serious offences resulted in execution. The final woman to be executed in the UK was Ruth Ellis, a woman who had been found guilty of murdering her lover outside a pub in London. Ruth Ellis's execution took place on the 13th of July 1955, but there was a significant degree of criticism regarding her death, as many believed she was in fact a victim. At the time across the UK, there were calls to abolish the death penalty, but Spain was a bit later with the abolition of capital punishment. The last executions in Spain were carried out in September 1975, but the final woman to be executed in Spain was Pilar Prades, who was subjected to a brutal execution in May 1959. But what is her story? Join us today to look at the horrific execution of the last woman garroted in Spain. And to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Pilar Prades was born in 1928, and she was born into a rather quiet family that moved to Valencia when she was just 12 years old. She was described as introverted and illiterate, and over the next few decades she moved house a number of times. But then in 1954, she worked for Enrique Villanova and Adela Pascula. Pilar worked for this married couple, and they ran a farmhouse in Valencia, and Prades worked in their house, and she also worked inside of their shop. She regularly worked on the counter of the deli that the couple owned, and the customers would regularly come in and see her. But tragedy then hit the family, as Adela became very sick and ill, which was said to have been flu, but then she got worse and then died. Following the death of his wife, Enrique Villanova kicked Pilar out of the house and their business, and he then left Valencia. Pilar Prades was now out of work, and she then found it inside the house of a military doctor named Manuel Berenguer and his wife. She was recommended by the cook, but soon the cook became ill. She was taken to hospital, and she did get better, but when the doctor's wife began to get ill too, doctors began to test for a trace of poison. They did find poison, and with this Pilar Prades fell under suspicion, based on what had happened to her former mistress. A complaint was filed against her, and despite the fact Adela Pasquale had been dead a while and buried, her body was exhumed, and it was then tested positive for arsenic, meaning that she had been poisoned, and it was this that probably killed her. The evidence was considered circumstantial at the time, as there was nothing concrete which could link her to the murder. But this wasn't needed, as Prades, during her arrest, went 36 hours without eating or sleeping, and then she confessed to the poisoning. This was very serious, and throughout history, poisoning was dealt with very seriously by kings and queens, as Henry VIII would boil a cook alive for poisoning the household of Bishop John Fisher. But Pilar Prades would also be linked to the crime, as a flask of arsenic-based ant killer was found amongst her possessions, and this was deemed to have been the poison she used. She pleaded not guilty, but this was against the advice of her lawyers. The lawyers hoped she would escape the death penalty if she did plead guilty, but regardless, she was sentenced to death for murder. Pilar Prades was to experience a horrific execution method known as garroting, which was common inside of Spain throughout the centuries. A garrote was a weapon which was usually a ligature or a chain, a rope or wire, which was used to strangle someone. It was used in Spain heavily throughout the centuries to take the lives of condemned criminals, and there were some garrotting machines used which killed. These were when someone would be sat on a stool, with the garrote secured around their neck, and then after this they would be choked and killed. Some even had a blade which severed part of the spinal cord, and this was the fate that awaited Pilar Prades. But the executioner who was summoned to carry out her execution, Antonio Lopez Sierra, refused to do so, as he did not agree with executing a woman in this way. Her execution was scheduled for 6 o'clock in the morning on the 19th of May 1959, but two hours later she was executed by garrotting. The executioner had got drunk before, 
and he had to be dragged into the execution chamber to perform his job. Whilst here, Pilar had the life choked out of her by the garrote, and she was killed. Her execution was an incredibly brutal and violent one, and the execution was delayed as some officials were waiting to hear if a pardon would arrive to excuse her killing. The executioner would later say that what he'd done was worse than executing the over 100 men he'd previously executed. But the grot was a brutal end for Pilar Prades, the poisoning maid who killed a number of people. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.